Hi there. Today we're going to talk a little bit about advertising. It's a, one of the most fun things, I think, that there is to collect out there. Uh, a lot of people love it because, like, say uh, your last name is Nash. I mean, wouldn't it be awesome to have a Nash coffee can uh, in your kitchen? I think it would be great. Uh, coffee is a big thing because a lot of people do decorate their kitchens um, with a variety of things. And so coffee cans and, you know, old uh, manufacturers of coffees, aren't, aren't those just great? I mean, I think they're just lovely. Uh, something that I found out a long time ago is every one of these cans, it, the lid is the same size. The opening is the same size. So because this can has a small, see that small little rim around the bottom? It will sit right onto the top of that can and act as a lid. And a long time ago, uh, well, I'm doing something different now, but I, I would keep my filters in this small one with its original lid. And then I kept coffee in the bottom one. And I basically just used the bottom of this one on top of this as, as the lid to keep the coffee fresh. And the little size of a coffee uh, can, these, these little cans here, uh, are perfect size for coffee filters. So I just thought it was awesome. Uh, here's one that you see a lot. This is Sunshine Coffee. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. And it has a lion on it, as you can see. Uh, one never finds the lid for this, um, but a canning, uh, a zinc lid from a canning jar, you know, or like a, like a bowl jar fits the top of it just perfectly. A lot of people just love that jar. It's just a, it's a beauty, you know, it was a beautiful embossed jar. Um, so here is just sort of a little run through of, you know, some different things that, uh, you know, you might be interested in, in using in a display in your kitchen. Um, you know, it's it revolves in here. I, I get uh, advertising tins and then they go out, you know, so one never knows what I'm going to have. Now, in here, I generally only sell the type of spice uh, tins like this that have the tin tops. I really don't do the plastic ones because they're just they're newer than what I really want to carry. Um not to say that there's, you know, something wrong with them, uh, but I just don't carry them. Uh, now, let's see, I got kind of hard to do while you're looking through the phone. So this is actually a box, a cardboard box, and the extract is still inside there. So I will carry a thing like that. There's lots of different types of lids, like this shilling just has the little lid. You have to use a spoon or something to pry it out. This one's got the slider, you know, so that you could shake or scoop. Um, this one has a solid lid on top of it, cloves. Um, but there's lots and lots of different brand names. You know, Schilling is a big one. Tony's a big one. Uh, Ideal, you don't see that too often. McCormick's you see quite a bit. French's you see quite a bit. Forbes and, again, Schilling. Coleman's was mustard. Um, I usually have calumet tins in here just because of the, you know, cool Native American on the on the can. People really enjoyed that. Um, so I like little things like this. Like it's not so great, but how many of those can be floating around out there? You know, because once you opened your can of beans, I mean, why would you keep that thing? Um, so I just think they're fun, you know, again, so that might be your name or you might just be doing a display inside a cabinet, uh, where you'd like to display some things like that. And then, uh, there's a few more things down here. That's a great little, um, Unita, um, uh, which was, is Nabisco, um, wafer tin. And then of course I, I always have lots of labels um, those are real labels. They just never were put onto a can. You can find these. They're, they're considered, you know, new old stock. And you could take, you know, a today's can and wrap this around it and glue it and make something, you know, that you could also display in your kitchen. Pretty cute. Uh, and then I have, let's look over here. So a lot of people like the um, Nabisco or the Sunshine Cracker tins, because you can keep lots of different types of things that you can still keep crackers in them in your kitchen if you wanted to. 
Um, you know, we do tobacco tins. I've got more of my tobacco is in a different spot than here, but I like all kinds of like cardboard uh, signs. And some of these are just pulled out from magazines. That Crescent Moon is actually a new old stock. Uh, that one is a, looks like cornmeal, um, unused cornmeal sack. And then I like the, you know, the cloth sacks. So I usually stuff them full of paper or maybe, you know, used bags or something just to make a cute display out of them and then I have this other cabinet just chock full of stuff um these are not that old well I say they're not that old these are probably from the 70s late 70s and this set I happen to have there's the original box that they nested inside and I see these sometimes in antique malls and they've got a fortune on them uh, they're really not that expensive, but this is a pretty nice set because I've got them, you know, in the box and uh, relatively unused. Um, so a lot of people love to, to collect like A&W or uh, Dog and Suds or uh, what's the other? Frosty um, root beer glasses and mugs and things like that. Of course, lots of people like Coca-Cola stuff. Um, I think this is just adorable. Look how cute this is. So this is when Tupperware was, you know, brand new. And I just think it's adorable how they show mother and daughter with their little matching outfits. And they look like, the, they look just like their Tupperware. So inside this cabinet, I have uh, lots and lots of other types of um, you know, advertising tins and whatnot. Um, so there's some cardboard pieces in here, which again are kind of tough to find because cardboard, you know, is easily destroyed. That's a frozen dessert. I'm sure it was some kind of ice cream. I'm not sure exactly why they called it frozen dessert, but uh, here's a cocoa tin that's just lovely. Girl Scouts. Um, this was, um, or I'm sorry, not Girl Scouts, but Campfire Girls uh, selling little chocolates. And I love these old chocolate boxes. Aren't they cute? They're always some like Harrison Fisher or Gibson girl looking thing. And then um, some of this that tender and tasty, I'm pretty sure is a Bud and Sally's, which Bud and Sally was a company that uh, bought a lot of new old stock containers and things and then sold them later to people for decorating a uh, big old can of XL nuts. Um, there is a box of Wheaties, unused, new old stock paper, shredded wheat, same thing. These things on the bottom are, um, some of them are milk cartons, you know, flat milk cartons. That butter crust is a wax paper that I was able to find and then I um, wrapped, I think it's foam or something. I can't even remember now what I put in there. Maybe a box or something to make it look like a, a bread loaf. Uh, cleaning supplies or soaps, um, shoe whiting, and then of course there's a, a bunch of uh, cute cigar boxes which are just great for like anything and everything. And then on the bottom there's some more closed up containers again. There's some you know meal sacks and milk jugs and different things like that. But uh, as you can see just how colorful and cute you know, all this type of stuff is and why it would make uh, great displays in your kitchen uh, just to add some color and some fun to your kitchen. Thanks for looking.